Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take the latest news coming in from the camp of Kudus Mohammed. Kudus is set to land at London. It seems I ran in there. Kudus is set to arrive in London to complete his move to join Chelsea Football Club. Kudus to Chelsea is happening, guys. And today, things are being fast track. I've already brought you up there that Kudus is close to joining Chelsea because he is almost agreeing to all the personal terms with Chelsea Football Club and things are going to happen in the coming days. Let's talk about it in this video and also how Chelsea will line up with Mohamed Kudus. Very, very important. Stay and check that out as well. We also talk about Thomas Tepate. Asma, they are ready to reward Pate with a new contract. How many years and what are the details? Let's talk about it in this video. I also um, answer some few questions that many asked me under our last video's comments box. I'll be checking it out. So don't worry if you leave a comment. I will definitely come and like it and also interact with you in the comment box. Before we delve into the details, anytime you join us, please like our videos as you do already. Like it after liking. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Put us on post notifications so that any video you drop, you'll be the first person to enjoy. Enjoy. If you're also on Facebook watching us, we appreciate you so much. Like our videos for us, then you share. Facebook, you have to share it for us. Click on the share button, then you share for others to also enjoy it. Then you leave a comment, I'll be bringing you a shout out as well. Now, if you leave a comment, I'll give you a shout out. Those who commented on the last video, I'll do the first part in this one and continue the rest in the subsequent videos. Now, let's begin from here. Thomas Ter Party at Arsenal. We know <laughs> immediately the transfer um, you know, window was opened. Arsenal was ready to release Thomas Ter Party to join either any of the Saudi Arabian clubs. Even Party almost agreed to one club in Saudi Arabia. And Juventus were also key in signing Thomas Ter Party. Now, after Arsenal began their you know, pre-season friendly games, especially the game against Manchester United, when United, the likes of Kobe Menu and you know Casemiro and the other guys showed Arsenal, you know, something small, they decided that no, we are going to keep Pate. Even the coach at Teta said that Pate is a really important player for them, and they are not going to release him. Right now, the inside story we have, um, according to that is um Beer Kensler, an insider from Arsenal. Um, the report is that Arsenal are set to um, offer Thomas Tepati a new contract. Contract will be two years extension with option for a further year. So it's going to be two years um, extension with option for one year to further. That's going to mean that it's going to be two year with one year option. So if Pate, after the two years, he can actually extend it one more year with the Arsenal Football Club. And this is a good news for us, you know, because Pate was really an integral part of the Arsenal team last season. And it was really shocking that Arsenal, they are leaving the likes of Granit Xhaka and they also added Pate. They were selling their best players. Meanwhile, they have to add, you know, more quality to what they have already and keep the experienced players in the team. So right now, Arsenal, they will keep Thomas their Pate for this season. It is confirmed from the coach. I brought you video updates on this channel. And Thomas Terpati will be offered a new contract if he stays. Because the contract is set to expire next year. So if it will expire next year, then they have to renew it this year. So that after the season, Pate will not leave for free. Arsenal will like to get something from him. And that is that. So stick and stay for the update. Immediately it is done. 100%. I'll bring you the details on this channel. Now let's move on and talk about Kudus Mohamed to Chelsea. Today I brought you a lot of updates in one video. The video I brought it to you before this one. That Kudus did not train with the Ajax team today in Germany. Not that he's really injured. We know Ajax reported that the player has a slight injury on his knee. So the doctors treated him in, uh, you know, inside the room. That's why um, they did not add him to the team. Today, Ajax even played a friendly game in Germany. After arriving, they won by five goals to two, one of the lower tier sides in Germany, and it was a cool game for them. Kudus did not train. That is one. Two, Kudus is close to agreeing a deal with Chelsea Football Club. Kudus is close to agreeing a deal with Chelsea Football Club. It has been reported by many sources, and I brought it to you in our last video. Then three, Kudus is set to arrive in London to complete his deal if Chelsea also settles everything with Ajax Football Club. Right now, the price is going to be around £40 million. Pounds. And immediately that amount is actually paid, Kudus will move from Germany straight to London. He will not go back to, you know, um, you know Netherlands before he come back. 
he will move from Germany, come to London for the medicals and everything before he will go and prepare and move eventually to the Stamford Bridge and play for Chelsea Football Club. I'm not saying this because I'm a Chelsea fan, but I think Kudus, he deserves to play Chelsea because if you look at some players in our team, Chelsea's team right now is not really that strong. And um, it's not a kind of Chelsea team that you say that because of the pressure, Kudus cannot play. Looking at some of the players in there, the likes of Nicolas Jackson, Jackson didn't play full season with Bellaria, even though as he came in, he's, he has certain really well, doing well for Chelsea, Lucas Moni, Madrike, Modric, these are not players who are really above, Chel uh, you know, um, the level of Kudus. Kudus played for Ajax last season, scored 18 goals in, in the season, and also provided 6 assists, 24 goal contributions. And in the Champions League, we saw his performance against Liverpool, against the big guys. He's that guy. He went to the World Cup, did very well. We've seen Real Madrid and, you know, Barcelona signing the likes of um, Roque and, you know, other Goulet and the other players. So, if you give Kudus confidence, we pray, we support him, he can go to Chelsea and, you know, um, you know, succeed in there. It's not about Kudus is that young. He should continue to be played. Personally, I wanted him to stay at Ajax and play at least a season more. But right now, Ajax is releasing their best players. Looking at the likes of Dusan Tadic, he has left. Kevin Basse is about to leave. Duran Timba is gone. And the key players are leaving. So, Kudus, I think if he joins Chelsea, it will be good for him. If he concentrates, trains well with discipline, Kudus is going to succeed at the Stamford Bridge. And that will be that. Now, if Kudus joins Chelsea, this is where Kudus is going to play. He's going to play behind the striker. That's going to be Nicolas Jackson. Possibly he's going to lead the line. Because right now, Chelsea, we have not signed any out and out striker. And that is how it is going to be. Um, you know, Mikel Modric, who scored a fantastic goal in the last game against um, Brighton, he might be playing on the left wing. Then on the right wing, we might also have Christopher Nkunku, the guy from RB Live is a fantastic. He might be playing in there. Then Kudus will be playing behind that is Jackson. So it's going to be um um, um you know Mikhail Modric, then um, Kudus Mohamed, Christopher Nkunku, then Nicolas Jackson. Fantastic forward for the Chelsea Football Club. And that is that. Now let's let me talk about some few players that many asked me. Someone was asking me about NS Nuama to Olympic Marcel. Olympic Marcel, they've not sent any official bid to FC Nordland. The only club that sends bid to Nordland is Paris Saint Germain. They, they, you know, Marcel, then Ayas, they have shown interest in the player, but after the first interest or after the first action of the player, they are yet to go back and, um, you know, talk anything concerning, you know, bidding or whatever for Ernest Noama. So, Noama right now is only Paris Saint-Germain. Then someone also asked me about Daniel Kofitre. Kofitre is back. I brought you an update in my last video that Daniel Kofitre, he is back at SC and Freiburg about two days or three days ago. I brought you a video on that. But he has not begun full training session with the whole team. If he begins that and also fit for much, you know, minutes and other stuff, I'll bring you details on this channel as well. So, these are some of them that I wanted to bring clarity on. Now, let me give shout out to these amazing guys in our first part of the shout out i'll bring the rest in our next video so these are those who commented very early in our last video first person who commented is abdul razak kipo thank you for joining me i also have um labib uh, muhammad also on this channel bright streaky also commented i've seen you ernest met a few also on this channel i also have um you know agbenu imano one of my imanos agbenu imano thank you um nam rini also commented I have Penny Has Odum on this channel. Isaac Dramena ID. I have seen you. I have Bassa Camps. Okay, Bassa Camps. Are you a Barcelona fan? Okay, I have Dambi Chris also on this channel. Brotaku also here. Um, Foster Volvi also on this channel. I've seen you. Mary Kisi, you also on this channel. Senior MC also here. Emmanuel Anan, one of my Emmanuels as well. Emmanuel Anan is also here. Um, Joseph Tete also on this channel. Salom Trinity also here as well. Trace Beast TV. Um, Emmanuel Amani. So right now, three Emmanuels. Emmanuel Amani. Gosway Eziko. Then I have Hayford Kuala. I also have, um, you know, Swansea Cool J, and this will be the first part of the shout out. So I'll bring you the rest in my subsequent video. So just take care, stay with me. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.